from bully beef sandwiches to a dip you simply can't resist. After watching this, you'll never think of canned corned beef the same way again. Corned beef hash is a staple meal at diners all over the nation, and for good reason. Crispy, savory hash is a great accompaniment to so many different breakfast foods, playing well with eggs, toast, and a good cup of coffee. But why let line cooks have all the fun? You should be making it at home using canned corned beef. For at-home corned beef hash, you'll need a can of corned beef, diced potatoes, onions, three or four eggs, Worcestershire sauce, garlic, paprika, parsley, salt, and pepper. First, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Then, sauté the onions in a cast iron pan until they become soft and slightly translucent. Next, add the garlic, paprika, and a dash or two of Worcestershire sauce to the pan. When you're done with all of that, add the potatoes to the mix, along with a generous amount of salt and pepper, and fry it all for a few minutes. Now, pop some of the canned corned beef into the pan and press everything down with a spatula so that the whole mass gets crispy on the bottom, then flip. As the other side crisps up, crack your eggs and put them on the hash. Place the pan in the oven to cook the eggs. After you remove the dish from the oven, sprinkle with parsley before serving. When your appetite is demanding that you jump into something delicious, there's only one way to roll, or should we say casserole. <laughs> If you have some canned corned beef available, then all you need is a few more ingredients to whip up a super savory casserole. Along with the corned beef, you'll need some thinly sliced potatoes, diced onion, cabbage, a quarter cup of milk, a teaspoon of dry mustard, and a can of cream of celery soup. First, mix the cream of celery soup with milk and mustard. Grab yourself a casserole dish and layer the bottom with some of the thinly sliced potatoes. Then, hit them with salt and pepper and scatter the diced onion all over. After that, add the chopped cabbage, followed by the canned corned beef. Layer the top of the dish with the rest of the sliced potatoes, and then pour the soup mixture on top. Bake the dish for an hour and a half at 375 degrees, and then you'll be casseroling your way down to Flavor Town. For those not in the know, bully beef is a Jamaican term for canned corned beef. So, a bully beef sandwich is simply one that is chock full of that delicious canned corned beef. To make one of these savory, handheld meals, you need just a few ingredients that may already be waiting for you in your kitchen. Those would be canned corned beef, a white onion, a can of diced tomatoes, garlic, and ketchup. This may be a simple list, but we assure you that it yields a supremely yummy meal. Start by sautéing the diced onions, tomatoes, and garlic in a skillet. Once the veggies soften, add the corned beef and break it apart with a spatula. Give the mixture a few minutes in the heat until it all starts to caramelize. Once that's happened, add in the ketchup and give it a couple more minutes to warm up. All that's left is to grab a couple of slices of your favorite bread and pile on the corned beef. If you're a mustard enthusiast, a little smear of the condiment will give the sandwich extra flavor and a bite of acidity. What foodie doesn't love exploring the cuisine of other cultures to discover dishes they can make themselves? Well, if you've ever wanted to dive headfirst into the wonderland of Filipino cuisine, then kick off your morning with this Filipino-style canned corned beef. To make it, you'll need just a few basic ingredients. Namely, canned corned beef, diced potatoes, diced white onion, minced garlic, halved cherry tomatoes, salt, and pepper. Start by sautéing the potatoes until they soften. Then add in the onions and cook both veggies for a few minutes until the onions become fragrant. Once the pan gives off that lovely, oniony smell, add the halved cherry tomatoes and cook until they begin to release all their juices, too. Toss in the corned beef and sauté the whole thing until the meat cooks and all the veggies have been cooked to a perfect texture. Add salt and some freshly cracked black pepper to taste, then sit down to enjoy the flavors of this Philippines-inspired meal. You can't talk about St. Patrick's Day without mentioning the classic combo of corned beef and cabbage. For some diners, this is the one day of the year that they will indulge in corned beef. But there's no reason to only enjoy this meal on a single day in March. If you're looking to eat a corned beef and cabbage meal any time of the year, make it easy by using canned corned beef. 
To prepare it, simply snag yourself some corned beef in a can, along with four strips of bacon, coarsely chopped cabbage, butter, salt, and pepper. Start by cooking the bacon until it's almost entirely crisp. Set the strips aside for a moment and start cooking down the cabbage in a large pan with a few tablespoons of butter and a dash of water to keep things from burning. While the cabbage cooks, cut the bacon into small pieces. Then add the diced bacon and canned corned beef to the cabbage and cook it all until you reach your desired doneness. The only thing left is to enjoy. If you want to kick your day off properly with a good breakfast, it's hard to go wrong with quiche. You can add so many different veggies and meats to it that you'll be dizzied by the seemingly infinite number of delicious quiche possibilities. If you have some canned corned beef lying around, you can bet your bottom dollar that there's a savory quiche just waiting to be made with that pantry staple. To make your corned beef quiche, first assemble your ingredients. You'll need that corned beef as well as a pie crust, a half cup of shredded Swiss cheese, minced onions and garlic, five eggs, a quarter cup of heavy cream, a quarter cup of milk, and pepper. After preheating your oven to 425 degrees, mix the corned beef, eggs, onions, garlic, milk, cream, cheese, and pepper in a bowl. Pour the bowl's contents into the pie crust, then pop that bad boy in the oven for about an hour. Don't forget to keep an eye on it towards the end to make sure that you don't overcook things. According to the American Egg Board, a knife inserted midway should come out clean. Be sure to take it out of the oven before the center is fully set, as the residual heat will keep things cooking for a few minutes more. Few meals are as deliciously messy as Sloppy Joe's. I know how you kids like them sloppy! <laughs> Lady, you're scaring us! However, the Sloppy Joe game gets kicked up a few notches when you combine canned corned beef with the regular ground beef that forms the bulk of this classic. Get ready for a zestier version of your favorite messy sandwich, taking cues from a standard old-fashioned Sloppy Joe recipe. Start by browning ground beef in a skillet. While it cooks, stir in the canned corned beef. For some extra flavor, we recommend adding diced onion as well as diced celery. Once the veggies become soft, add the contents of the skillet into a crock pot. Then stir in the ketchup, Worcestershire sauce, and brown sugar. You may also want to add in a dash of chili powder or some diced green onion. The whole concoction will simmer for around three hours on low heat. Once it's ready, grab a bun and start eating. When Old Man Winter shows his frigid face and chills you to the bone, there are few better meals to eat than a hot bowl of stew. Why not add corned beef to the mix? For a meal that makes you forget about the blustery, freezing discomfort happening outside, all you need is a couple of cups of water, some canned corned beef, diced carrots, onions, and potatoes. The first step is to get your water boiling in a deep pot or Dutch oven. Then add all of the diced veggies to the pot. This will cool the water down a bit, so let the water reach a boil again before adding the corned beef. Stir it around until the meat breaks up. Taste it occasionally to make sure the broth is flavored by the corned beef, adding salt and pepper as needed. Once it's rich and savory, serve and enjoy. This awesome creation is a delicious marriage between shepherd's pie and corned beef hash. For this dish, we'll riff on a classic shepherd's pie recipe. You'll need a pound of mashed potatoes, diced onion, Worcestershire sauce, ketchup, chicken broth, parsley, thyme, and canned corned beef. Start by preheating your oven to 400 degrees. To make the cottage pie filling, grab a skillet and cook down the onions until they become fragrant and slightly translucent. Then add the chicken broth, Worcestershire sauce, ketchup, parsley, and thyme. Once the broth reduces by half, add the corned beef and let the whole thing simmer until there's almost no liquid left. Spoon the contents of the skillet into a baking dish and top it off with a hearty serving of mashed potatoes. If cheese and breadcrumbs are your things, then you can sprinkle a little on top before popping it all in the oven. Then let it bake for 15 minutes or until the top is nicely browned. If you're a fan of Mexican cuisine, then you probably love a good burrito. It doesn't matter what kind of veggies or meat you roll up in a tortilla, the result is always pretty damn… Language! Sorry, darn delicious. You might not have come across corned beef stuffed burritos before, but this variation on a beloved classic makes it happen. Grab some canned corned beef, 
cooked white rice, red onion, diced jalapeno, avocado, thyme, and ketchup. Wrap yourself a skillet to cook the diced jalapenos, onions, and thyme in a bit of oil until fragrant. Then add in the corned beef and ketchup and stir the mixture until the corned beef is thoroughly warm. Finally, lay down a warm tortilla and spoon the contents of the skillet in the middle, along with some rice and slices of avocado. If you want some spice, add on your favorite zesty salsa. We all know that just because something is simple doesn't mean it won't taste as awesome as an intricately crafted meal. With that in mind, corned beef spaghetti is one of the easiest dishes you can whip up using canned corned beef. To make it, you'll need corned beef, spaghetti, spaghetti sauce, minced garlic, and diced onion. In a skillet, cook the garlic, onions, and corned beef in oil until the meat is warm and the onions are translucent. Get the pasta boiling in a different pot, then add spaghetti sauce into the skillet and let it simmer. Once the pasta is done, drain it and add the sauce. Then you can top it with a sprinkle of shredded cheese and serve. No matter what time of day or year, you really can't go wrong with chips and dip, as long as you don't double dip. Double dipped? What, what, what are you talking about? You dipped the chip, you took a bite, and you dipped again. So if you enjoy the taste of corned beef, why not create an awesome dip out of it? It's super easy to make, and if you invite some friends over to share, they'll ask you for the recipe before they leave. All you need is three simple ingredients, and you're ready to rock and roll the chips and dip way. Grab your canned corned beef, an envelope of dry onion soup mix, and a 16-ounce container of sour cream. Combine all three ingredients in one bowl, and once they're mixed thoroughly, let them chill for an hour. Now, call up your buddies and tell them you have a savory surprise that's eagerly awaiting their appetites.